Hello and welcome to ChiefTutor.com, training videos in Chief Architect. <laughs> Almost forgot what I was working on. I had somebody calling in wanted to learn how to make columns, specifically a craftsman style column, much like this picture here. So there's many ways to do this in Chief Architect. And Chief actually has uh, pre-built columns already done. So if you were to go to the library and go into the Chief Architect Libraries, and this is using version X2, I believe if you go to Architectural and uh, Millwork, you can see that they have pre-built uh, balusters, brackets, feet, columns, corbels. And let's go into columns real quick. And you can see they have different ones for basic, bowed columns, stack columns, taper columns. This stacked one has a couple of different ones here that you can choose from and you can actually color and stain them the way you want to match for your design. So I'm gonna go ahead and place one in and show you. See, It's quite easy that we can uh, just take our spray can now and, and apply whatever texture we want on it. But what if you wanted to make a specific one? much like the one you see here. Well, we can still use what's in their library to make it, or we can make it manually with Chief. So let's go ahead and make that manually with Chief. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my extended tool configuration. So I'm right clicking on the icons up here, and I'm going to choose extend tool configuration. Because when I like to draw stuff, I like to use the CAD tools, and I want all the other tools showing to help me kind of figure out what I want to do. Okay, so I'm going to start with a basic box tool. I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to take uh, four by four squares, which is uh, two of these squares uh, a piece. Okay, now I've made my base where I want to make uh, this. I've decided to be two feet by two feet. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to convert it to a polyline. And I'm going to convert this base to a countertop. And the reason why is because not only will it give me this base, but it'll also give me an option to build this lip that you see on top of the stone. So I'm going to say countertop. And I'm going to keep the height at 36, and I'm going to set the thickness to 36 as well. Type in 36 inches. Then I'm going to go over to the moldings tab, and I'm going to apply the molding or that little edge piece that we wanted. So I'm going to click here, scroll down to their moldings, and edge profiles pick one that's kind of squared out and so I notice it I'm gonna I'm gonna make its height like three inches and make it like two inches in width I don't need to offset it it'll just set right to the top of my um, post that I'm making okay so I click OK and let's take a look this is what we've drawn so far and we'll see uh, from that camera view is probably not the best I'm gonna go to direct camera view and we'll take a look and there we go and now I can easily color it you know a stone base color in order to match the look I'm going for so let's go in here uh, cultured stone and I'll just grab one let's just grab this one here and apply it and apply it and there we go now I have the base for what I'm after and let's just take a double view there and I'd like to switch the side, put it over here. Okay, so here's my column that I've started, and there it is. I've used a countertop to get to where I want to go. Now I want this tapered column up in the edge. Well, that's a little difficult to build in Chief, but Chief has pre-made ones that are very nice to use, and we just need to search for a shape. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to type in shape here, and I'll notice that it comes up with different shapes. And... Um, I'm just going to kind of scroll through here till I see one of the shapes. Now see, here it is under the Generals tab, under Shapes. There's boxes, cylinders, pedestals. Oh, there we go. We want a pedestal type. And I'm going to take this guy right here, the rectangular one. And I'm just going to apply it right there. Now, I want to make sure it's placed on top of this piece. But in order to do that, it needs to be at the height of where I want it. So I'm going to hit Spacebar, and I'm going to use my orthographic view or my elevation view cross-section elevation and I'm going to drag it through these two items because it shows me the two items and where I've placed it and now I can manually click on the one I want to move I'm going to hold down control on the keyboard I'm just going to drag it up and put it where I want it 
right about there. And then I'm going to raise it up about mm, yay far. Now I go back to plan view and it's placed where I want it. If it's not exactly where you want it, again, just select it, drag it where you want it. But mine ended up right where I wanted it to be, which is great. Now there's also a piece here and there's a little piece here. And so there's extra pieces to be made. So let's make those as well. Um, this time, why don't I use the primitive box tool? Or better yet, I'm just going to use a slab tool. Let's do that. So I'm going to draw a couple of slab tools here. This will be the first one. And again, I'm going to use my elevation, cross it over, grab this piece I want. And this one, I want to put it in right about there. I'm going to just kind of shape it to where I think I want it, like that. But that's the general location. So now, with that there, I'm just going to piecemeal it up and put it around my column where I think it should go, just like so. Let's take a look at that. And so there we go. We're starting to piece it together. And again, I can take it, I can open it up, go to my materials, click on the color, click on plan material, hit W on the keyboard to go down to my W colors, choose white, click OK. I can even color the white for the top piece or the bottom piece, keep it all the same. But now what I want to do is basically take another one, copy and paste it, and I'll put it out over here. And I'm just going to reduce the size. So I'm holding down C on my keyboard to conject, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> to uh, bring it down. And that is um, a behavior in the edit. It's a concentric um, movement. So it'll basically shrink it on the inside a specific way versus the outside, you know, so it based off of the outside size. So I'm just going to concentric move it down. And again, I'm going to use my elevation tool, grab it, and place it where I think it should go, right about there. You can get exact, you know, get in here and draw it exactly the way you want it, move it around exactly the way you want it. But basically, I'm getting the result I think I want, which is correct. Nice and mm, nice and craftsman style. <laughs> okay, so now I'm done. I've made all my pieces. I'm going to drag select over the item and I'm just going to make it all a block. So it's all one piece. Now that it's all one piece, I can easily copy it and put as many in the plan as I need around my porch. And so that's it. It's basically pretty straightforward and easy to do. Um, what you can also do, which is nice, is if you wanted a specific base up there, instead of using the one that's uh, that I chose, pedestal, you can go back up to, say, the Millworks, and you can grab, um, say, one of these boxed ones. Like, yeah, let's say this box two. And uh, I'm going to just take one. I'm going to unblock it unblock it like that and take it all drag it out over to about here grab this piece over it looks like I lost the piece that I wanted to lose anyway I take my elevation tool and I'm just gonna apply this guy <clears throat> again I'm gonna grab him up say about yay far I can even open it up at specifications and I'll make it more like 15 by 15 and uh, say make it the height I want. So I don't want that piece anymore. I'm going to delete it. Make it about yay high. I can even gear it about that low. <clears throat> Go back to my 2D plan. I'm just going to place it right in the middle so it'll disappear into the rock the way I want it. So by using their chief uh, made post and, and balusters and whatnot, you can apply your own uh, look to your plan and get a very specific one as well, which is kind of neat. I, I do that as well. So I'm just going to change the color to white, apply it, and there we go. <clears throat> Again, I'm going to drag over select and make it a unit, close this out, close this out, open this bad boy up, and let's take a look. And there we go. I made a specific type of column there using their pieces. So fairly easily and quickly, you can make 
pretty much any design shape you want with Chief Architect. Um, you can also try using SketchUp. If you like SketchUp, the Google's free program SketchUp will let you do all these things very quickly, very easily. But uh, that's been messing with columns. And um, if you would like a specific column built, please send it in and we will do that. We will build it and I will add it to Dave's bundle of symbols. Okay, thanks guys and I'll talk to you again soon.